The sad news coming out that Pastor Dean Nelson has died at the age of 55. Extremely tragic. A man who has done so much and really had so much more to do. Left this world way too soon. We're going to get into all the details about what happened and his influence and what was really his passion in just a second. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, that's kind of my only option. The news coming out that Pastor Dean Nelson passed away at the age of 55. The news making its way around on December 18th. The announcement was made by the Frederick Douglass Foundation, the organization that Dean had founded, that he had served as chairman of. Uh, they were deeply saddened to make this announcement to everybody around the world, especially those who Dean had really impacted. But Dean had passed away on Saturday, December 16th at his home in Maryland. He was surrounded by his family and friends, and this was due to what was described as a short battle with cancer. Very sad for, you know, whatever type of cancer it was, and we don't know exactly, uh, but it looks like it, it became serious very, very quick. And this news has just rocked the Christian community, but also the pro-life community. Because for Dean Nelson, he was somebody who championed the pro-life movement and did everything he could to protect it. An outspoken African-American conservative. He didn't hold back in his feelings on what he thought of this subject at all. And, you know, he is really largely responsible for the fact that so many lives over the years have been saved because of his advocacy. For him being willing to speak up, even in the midst of backlash from, you know, those who would come against him and say that, you know, you were a traitor because of this or whatever, or how dare you, he took a stand. He was willing to do what was right according to the word of God. And his legacy will no doubt continue on from here. And I know that individuals like Alveda King, have also come forward and offered their prayers, and she described Dean here as really a mentor towards her and, and all of her work that she does as well, uh, fighting for life, as well as many others that you know saw Dean as their mentor and somebody that they could rely on. Uh, although a gentle spirit, they said that he had a fire in him when it came to this subject. He became an, an ordained minister decades ago. Um, and he served in churches across Virginia and other areas along the East Coast. He's not going to be forgotten, and his work will no doubt continue on. And, you know, there's still a lot left to do when it comes to fighting for life. And, you know, just because of the Supreme Court ruling that happened back in June of 2022, you have to understand that the enemy is, you know, fighting even harder to, you know, try and take the young ones. So... We should do our part in speaking out for them, much like Dean Nelson did. A wonderful man of God. He leaves behind a wife and three children, but they know that he is now hearing, Well done, my good and faithful servant. And they will be reunited with him in heaven again one day. That is the blessed hope that we have of knowing that when we leave this world, however we do, that we will be in eternity with the Lord forever. And then for the loved ones that, you know, come later on, they are reunited and joined together again in perfect paradise. So be in prayer for the entire family of Dean Nelson, everybody at the Frederick Douglass Foundation, for God to just be with them all and bring them peace and comfort at this time. For anybody that would like to offer up any thoughts, any prayers for the family of Dean Nelson, maybe you've had interaction with them in the past, feel free to do so down below in the comment section. What I want to do right now, though, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines and keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we're in the last days, really the final hours, and Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you were somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you would like to do so, I would like to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring up before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world, as he died and rose again for you and me. 
He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. And trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Prayers again going out to the entire family of Dean Nelson. For God to be with you all and bring you peace and comfort at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. I'll talk with you soon.